Being one of the most visited monuments in the world, the Eiffel Tower doesn't really need an introduction. The Eiffel Tower is a wrought iron lattice tower on the Champ de Mars in Paris. It was named after its designer, Gustave Eiffel. Construction began in 1887 and was completed in 1889. The tower was originally intended to be a temporary structure for the 1889 World's Fair, but it was so popular that it was allowed to remain standing. The Eiffel Tower was constructed for the 1889 World's Fair, which was held in Paris. The fair was a celebration of the 100th anniversary of the French Revolution. The organizers of the fair wanted to build a structure that would be the tallest in the world and would symbolize the progress and innovation of France. The tower is made up of 18,038 pieces of wrought iron that are held together by 2.5 million rivets. The tower is 324 meters, 1,063 feet, tall and weighs 7,300 tons. The leg-to-leg -leg distance of the Eiffel Tower is 410 feet, 125 meters, at its base. The tower's four legs are spread out in a square formation, with each leg measuring 125 meters long. The distance between the tips of the four legs is 1,640 feet, 500 meters. Gustave Eiffel was a French engineer who designed and built many other structures, including the Statue of Liberty's framework, the Garabat Viaduct, and the Pont Alexandre III. The Eiffel Tower was not universally loved when it was first built. Some people thought it was an eyesore and an insult to the beauty of Paris. The French writer, Guy de Maupassant, was the tower's most vocal critic. He said that the tower was a gigantic black skeleton. The Eiffel Tower has three levels, each of which offers stunning views of Paris. The first level is at a height of 57 meters, 187 feet. The second level is at a height of 115 meters, 377 feet. And the third level is at a height of 276 meters, 906 feet. Visitors can reach the first and second levels by elevator or stairs. The third level can only be reached by There was an apartment that was designed by Gustav Eiffel for himself. This apartment was located on the second level of the tower, but it was dismantled in 1907. The Eiffel Tower is a very popular tourist destination, and the Eiffel Tower at night is a captivating sight. Bathed in golden light, its intricate silhouette stands against the dark sky. Thousands of twinkling lights adorn the structure, while the Seine River reflects its beauty. It's a magical and romantic experience, full of wonder. 20,000 bulbs illuminate the tower. The Eiffel Tower has 16 elevators, which carry over 7 million people each year. The elevators travel at a speed of 6 meters, 20 feet, per second. There are also 1,665 stairs from the ground level to the first level, and 1,116 stairs from the first level to the second level. Eiffel Tower may expand or contract up to 6.5 cm with the temperature rise and fall. It may sway up to 7 cm in strong wind. Eiffel Tower's lifts are vital, serving visitors and staff. Three for visitors, one for the Jules Verne restaurant, and a freight elevator. Two double cabin electric lifts are between second and third floors. These elevators travel over 103,000 km combined like circling the globe 2.5 times. Safety is paramount with emergency features. Operated by 200-person team, they're regularly inspected and maintained for reliability. The only incident involving a bicycle and the Eiffel Tower was in 1923, 
when a journalist named Pierre Labric rode a bicycle down the stairs from the first level of the tower and he was arrested for this activity. Victor Lustig tried to sell the Eiffel Tower twice. He fooled scrap metal dealers with fake documents, but he got caught the second time. Lustig was a con artist who scammed millions of dollars from his victims. He is one of the most famous con artists in history. During World War I, the Eiffel Tower was used as a radio and telegraph station to communicate with ground troops and battleships. It also intercepted enemy messages. During World War II, the Eiffel Tower was occupied by the German army. The Germans used the tower as an observation post and a listening post. They also painted the tower in camouflage colors to make it less visible from the air. In 1944, as the Nazis were losing control of occupied Paris, Adolf Hitler ordered his generals to level the city. Plans were drawn up to mine the Eiffel Tower with explosives. Thankfully, Allied troops swooped in before the order could be carried out. The Eiffel Tower was originally supposed to be dismantled after 20 years, but it was saved by its use as a radio and television antenna. The tower has been the target of several terrorist attacks, but it has never been seriously damaged. When the Eiffel Tower was built, it was the tallest man-made structure in the world. It remained the tallest structure in the world until the Chrysler Building was completed in 1930. The Eiffel Tower is now the second tallest structure in Paris, after the Millau Viaduct. The Eiffel Tower is painted every seven years. The Eiffel Tower is lit up at night with 20,000 light bulbs. The Eiffel Tower has been climbed by over 250 million people since it opened. The highest wind speed recorded on the Eiffel Tower was 200 km per hour, 124 miles per hour. Inspired from Eiffel Tower many countries construct replica of Eiffel Tower. The most famous replicas of the Eiffel Tower are Blackpool Tower, England, 158 meters, 518 feet, Las Vegas, Nevada, 165 meters, 541 feet, Tokyo, Japan, 333 meters, 1093 feet, Slobozia, Romania, 177 meters, 581 feet, Tianducheng, China, 108 meters, 354 feet, Paris, Arkansas, USA, 65 feet, 20 meters. If you plan to visit Eiffel Tower, buy your tickets online in advance to avoid the long lines. Try to visit the Eiffel Tower during the week, when it is less crowded. There are several restaurants and cafes on the Eiffel Tower, so you can enjoy a meal with a view. The most tourists who visit the Eiffel Tower come from China, followed by the United States, Spain, Germany, and the United Kingdom. The Eiffel Tower has been featured in many works of art and culture, including literature, film, music, fine art, and photography. It is a popular subject for artists and photographers because it is an iconic symbol of Paris and France. It has also been used as a setting for many events, such as the 1900 Summer Olympics, the 1925 World's Fair, and the 2024 Summer Olympics. The Eiffel Tower is a cultural icon that has been celebrated and referenced in many ways. It is a symbol of Paris, France, and the world. The Eiffel Tower is one of the most iconic landmarks in Paris. It is a symbol of the city and has been featured in many movies and television shows. The tower is also a popular tourist destination.